Good evening and welcome back to the channel. A few tips for Goodwood and one at Sandown ahead of Wednesday's action. We had a pretty good day at Beverly. All I'm going to say is Graham Lee. I do have him to thank because he lifted one for me at a big price. If you can work that out, then do let me know in the comments down below. I'll be gladly reminded of that performance. But you're only as good as your last tip, as they say. So hopefully I can get another winner or two on the board, just from a couple of selections for tomorrow. I'll have a few for Thursday coming soon as well. But we'll kick off in the first race at Goodwood. Do make sure sure to look out. I think a few bookmakers are giving away £5 for your bets in her bet 365 did one today on the Tuesday, so do make sure to shop around for the value, of course. But my first bet is Max Sood for Huey Morrison, Ryan Moore teaming up 11 to 1 in the market. And this horse, like so many in the lineup of the three year old, is quite unexposed out of Golden Horn, the great Golden Horn. And I just think this horse can be better than a mark of 99. He's been lightly tried just the three starts, and he's been quite highly tried as well. Lightly less highly tried, drops down to handicap company. He's had a decent run over course and distance, was fourth out of sixth, which might, which might not read too well. I would mark up that performance. He probably was a little bit too far back. Maybe the ground, did he like it? Did he not? It was soft ground that day. He won't get that today and he has some decent form, although his debut win was with a better juice in the ground. So maybe the softer ground wasn't too much of an excuse, but he did perform quite well that day. Jim Crowley rode him that day. Might have been a little bit too far back and I don't think the horse had enough gears. Maybe a little bit slow. Definitely get a strong pace today. I can see the Mark Johnson horse banging out in front under Jason Hart. That's quite a big price, but should set a decent fraction. And there's a few other confirmed front runners in here as well. So hopefully this horse can sit in behind. 11 to 1 each way better can pick up the pieces. Hopefully run into a place. Might have to be a bit better to beat Secret State, who is 5 to 2 in the market, but definitely can run into a place and kick us off for the day at 11 to 1. Next up is the big horse, the Qatar Sussex Stakes, and some of the horses that have won this race have been very, very impressive. Last year, Alcohol Foy managed to win it. She really opposes in this 11 to 1. She's not expected to win it this day, but she's 11 to 1 and second favourite, which tells you all you need to know about the race. Baid 1 to 6, looking to make it 9 out of 9. Unbeaten, William Haggis, Jim Crowley and they just team up so well these days, especially at Goodwood. I remember in years gone by, Jim Crowley just absolutely winning everything at Goodwood. But I'm not going to side with the top two in the market. Third in the market, Order of Australia, 16 to 1. Now, any race Order of Australia runs in should never be 16 to 1. This horse was placed behind Palace Pier Poetic Flair on his best form last year, was third behind Baid on reappearance, beaten five lengths. That was the horse's season. I'll come back. And that wasn't too bad of a run at all. I can see Order of Australia getting closer to Baid. And I just have a gut feeling at one to six. Baid shouldn't really be getting beaten here. Can't be getting beaten here. But I just got a feeling there's something brewing. This horse might be getting overturned. I'd love for Order of Australia to get a big day in the sun. Carrying nine stone ten. It's a big way, but all the horses are carrying plenty of weight in this one. Was pretty impressive at Curra on the 17th of July. That wasn't that long ago at all. Just wound it up. That was ever seven furlongs. Guy Moore made the use of the horse's stamina, wound it up, and was pretty impressive in beating Pearls Galore, who probably was too keen in hindsight. That didn't help that horse's chance. But I just think back at Goodwood, where he was fifth in this race in 2021, probably wasn't in the best of form coming into that last uh, the race last year as well. He's definitely in better form this year. It was only a couple of lengths behind horses like Alcohol Fli Alcohol Foy, I should say, Poetic Flare, Snow Lantern, De Hale and Order of Australia was just in behind, pipped on the day, just beating a couple of lengths. I can see a similar story happening again and I just think at 16 to 1, maybe in the extra place market if you can get three places. I haven't looked to be totally honest, but even two places, 16 to 1, I can see this horse hitting the form, especially because alcohol, <coughs> alcohol free, I should say, is a little bit hit and miss. 
My last tip at Goodwood is going to come in the last stories. Mum's Tipple is a horse I'm going to give another chance to. Sean Levy, Richard Hannon teaming up. Now this horse was a pretty good third last year. Last, not last year, last time out I should say. That was in quite a strong race. Had a big way to carry 10 stone 4. It was in a class 3. This is a much stronger renewal of the race than in previous years as well. I think there's some progressive horses in here but just at 9 to 1 I think this horse might be able to run well. He's well treated on his own form at the end of the day. He's been highly tried over the years. You'll remember back to him winning at York by 11 lengths. Everyone was thinking he was the next world beater. Hasn't gone to plan since then, but back to a mark of 92. I just think seven furlongs at Goodwood suits. Richard Hannon, he's a very good trainer. The jockey's just as good as well. So at 9-1, to one, that could be a bet for me. Over to Sandown then, just for one more bet, and it's a last time out winner for the channel, Danza Della Luna, who I tipped up drifted like a barge, but won like a good thing at Pontefract. She's a filly on the year, was one off a mark of 68, won by seven lengths, eased down at the end of the day. Lewis Edmonds could have won by about 15 lengths if he wants to. He keeps the ride. The horse has gone up £8 in the handicap. Probably in a stronger race as well. William Haggis has got one in there. Sir Mark Prescott has got one in there as well. So it's not like a northern circuit where maybe some of the horses wasn't the best. This is a strong race but I think this horse is a filly going the right way and if you think, look at Connections they had a pretty good Weekend William York, well, of course, if you don't know, he won the King George on Pile Driver, so that's definitely some good yard form. The yard is on a buzz, and hopefully, they'll be getting another winner at 7 to 2. That rounds up the video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.